these guys have done something that no other company has done, which makes this bike, the Troxxas Trax 1.0, that's a tongue twister, one of the most unique bikes I've tried. Now that I got your attention, let me tell you what that is. But before I do, I need to give you a little bit of background on standard e-bikes. In order to appreciate this, I need this one and this one. Every e-bike either have a cadence or a torque sensor, which tells the motor how to deliver the power. Torque sensor bikes give you power on demand. The more pressure in the pedals, the more power you have. I could do that all day. Torque sensor bikes are what you would give for off-road riding because it's more of an intuitive ride, just a torquey little bike. Cadence sensor bikes, power is delivered depending on how fast you pedal. Slow pedal, slow speed. Fast pedal, fast speed. These bikes are what people typically get for paved trail riding or city commuting because the bike pretty much does all the work for you. So if you don't want to show up sweaty to work, that's the type of bike that you would get. Uh, all right, so now that e-bike 101 class is over and you have graduated, thanks to your expert teacher. You're too kind. Now let's talk about the Troxxas, because this is the first bike that has both sensors. If you hold down the plus button, this is now set to torque sensor. And then if you hold it down again, that appears, and we're back to cadence sensor. So what these guys have done is they've given you a two for one bike. Now, if that was all Troxxas was doing that other companies weren't, I'd be okay with that. And I would sleep like a baby at night. But it's not. These guys are working with over 100 shops scattered throughout the US. So if you wanted to go and test ride this bike, you can book a test ride for free. And then if you do decide to pick one of these up, if they don't have it in the shop, in stock, they can order it. They'll then put it together and service it. Which is nice because most bike shops that I've taken electric bikes to will only service mechanical problems. But they won't touch the electrical parts. So if anything goes wrong with it, from front to back, you're covered. Oh, and by the way, that has a five-year warranty. Okay, so now I want to look at a few more things that this company is doing that no other company is. And really, I should say, most companies because there are a bunch of them that have seat post suspension but none of them have something like this but look at that that's just pretty cool looking that is pretty cushy now the saddle is pretty hard so i'm glad they added the seat post suspension to make up for that and then as you walk around to the front of the bike you got zoom hydraulic suspension you can lock this out and then when you open it you got 80 millimeters of travel which as you can see it's pretty easy to bottom out so i would not suggest opening it all the way unless you want to hit rock bottom which in that case i feel bad for you and there is help out there well, most companies have a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery which is what you have here in the troxxas however this is ul certified which means you'll have better longevity and more charge cycles. Now, after a full charge, which takes five hours, they say you can get up to 70 miles. The tires are the last thing that these guys have done better than most companies. And it's not the brand or the size. These are Kenda, and they're 27.5 by 2.2 inches wide. Nothing too special or fancy about that. But what is, is the stuff they put inside. These are puncture-resistant tires. Before I move on to some more stuff that I liked about the bike, I wanna talk about a few things that I didn't. And the first thing I don't like is when the wind blows my phone over. And the other one is the 500 watt Bafang motor. Bafang motors are super popular and there's a ton of brands that use them, but they are loud. And when I hit a certain speed, that motor or vibration or whatever resonates with the frame, which causes these small vibrations where they get bad enough to where I can fill it in the saddle. Ooh, there it is. Now, the good thing is that it doesn't last that long. It's just a couple seconds and it goes away. Now, when the motor is maxed out and you have the bike set to the highest speed mode, they say that you can get up to 28 miles per hour. When I did a speed test, I was on a flat road and I had a tailwind and I was able to hit 31 miles per hour. I turned around on that same road, went into the winds and I could only get 21. So that's the bad thing with a 500 watt motor is that you just don't have the torque and power to maintain a consistent speed. However, you do have some torque in this motor Motor, he got 65 newton meters and surprisingly it's powerful enough to take me up a 20 percent grade how does the saying go with small torque comes great power the second thing i didn't like is the shaking in the handlebars when you brake and like the vibration that i just talked about it doesn't happen all the time and i think that's just the nature of these step through bikes they only have one piece connecting the front of the bike to the rear of the bike i've seen that shaking with other step through bikes so it doesn't worry me but if it does you you can't pick this up in a high step the brakes are tektro hydraulic which is something i was glad to see for the price of the bike they've also got motor cutoff and they're linked to the tail light and flare up when you hit either lever there's two more things i didn't like the first is the throttle a 1900 dollar bike should have a nicer throttle than that and they've capped the top speed 20 miles per hour the last thing is how far the turn signals are if you're holding the grip reaching my thumb all the way over i could barely hit the left one when you hit them it does show up on the screen and they're pretty bright which makes it easy to leave them on when you're riding and that's a little bit embarrassing but they don't shut off automatically and there's no noise either to turn them off just hit them again now back to some stuff that i liked and the first is the eight speed trigger shifter 
bam. And that's paired with an Acer derailleur. That's a good system for the price of the bike. And then I like how they mounted the headlights. It's up on the handlebars. Oh, and then the bonus with the lights is if you hit the power button, it turns on the flashers. That's it's like your emergency mode. I thought the weight of the bike is on the lighter side at only 68 pounds. I can carry somebody on the heavier side of 350 pounds. I like the grips, they look and feel nice. You got a nice looking color LCD screen and then a USB port to charge your phone. I like the back swept handlebars with the adjustable stem. So that increases the space in the cockpit, which makes it more comfortable. But with the handlebars bringing the grips back towards you, you still have an upright and comfortable posture. So I thought Troxxas did a pretty awesome job with the Trax 1.0. And I just love that these guys have so many shops where you can go try their bikes out. Now, if you wanna check out more of Troxxas' bikes. Uh, I've got one up on the screen, so go check that one out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.